Five reasons why the Super Motard is better than the Hyper Motard. This is part two. Continuation of the Hyper versus Super series. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about Super Moto versus Hyper Moto. Five reasons why the Super Moto is better than the Hyper Moto. Reason number one is the actual physical weight of the uh, the motorcycle. This thing weighs uh, 273 pounds. The Hyper weighs like 428 or something like that. So this has a really big advantage of being a uh, easily flickable. Uh, you don't have all that mass under you, so you can throw it around real easy. And um, But the one thing you need to understand is the power to weight ratio is better on the Hyper than with this. So, um, it's give or take. You're going to get something really light with less power or something heavier with more power. Uh, these are more fun. I think the lighter bikes are more fun than the heavier bikes for sure. So, that's number one. Reason number two, crash damage. <sighs> Cr crashing a motorcycle, man, there's so many different variables. You can yard sale both bikes equally as hard. But if you were to pick one over the other, I would definitely much rather dump this thing right here than the Hyper. Probably because the parts are a lot cheaper on this. The little plastics are a lot cheaper than the Hyper for sure. For sure, 100%. So the Supermoto wins that one right there. Uh, I've dumped this one before on the side and picked it back up and kept going. Hyper I have not dumped yet. Knock on wood. Um, I don't think I'd want to dump the Hyper. Uh, but if I did, then, you know, just going to have to suck it up and fix it get it back on the road again um, <clears throat> that was number two number three this has a kickstarter right there on the side of the bike hyper doesn't so if you get a dead battery you can kickstart this sucker right here start right up no problem you don't have to run with the bike and jump start it but if you do your maintenance and you keep your battery on a tender you should never have to do that but you always got that option here that's an advantage Number four, simple design. Supermoto is really simple. All it is is a dirt bike with street tires. Motors right there, radiator, air filter, everything's really easy to get to, really easy to work on. The Hyper is a little more difficult to work on. Uh, the oil changes and the general maintenance on the Hyper is easy, but if you need to dig down into the motor and you need to take the gas tank off and the air box off, which I have done on both bikes, it's easier on this one for sure. That's number four. Number five, off-road. Obviously, this thing is better off-road than the Hyper. I've ridden both of them off-road. This is the one that you want to be on off-road for sure. That's a wrap. Five reasons why somebody would pick a super motard over a hyper motard i own both you guys can watch both videos and decide for yourselves which one or which both you decide to go with hope you all enjoyed the video and i'm gonna go do a few wheelies Potty wheelies coming at you live 4th of July weekend
What do you guys got planned for Fourth of July, man? You gonna do some cooking? You gonna make some barbecue? You gonna go do some wheelies? What's the deal? Fourth of July is coming up. Monday. Time to celebrate America. What better way to celebrate America than to go do some wheelies? Maybe do a little bit of off-roading. Yeah? What are my plans? Well, uh, my schedule is getting filled up pretty quickly. Tomorrow's Saturday, got a bicycle ride uh, with my Team Bike Mart crew. That's Saturday. Uh, Monday afternoon, we got some hill training, hill repeats. We got a hill over here in Allen where we uh, meet up at and we run up and down this hill. It's a pretty steep hill. So it's a really, really good workout. Tuesday morning, 5 a.m., we got a track workout in Murphy. And we're gonna go over there, get a really good workout. Next week, not this coming weekend, but the next weekend, I have uh, a dog show in Dallas, downtown Dallas at Market Square, Market Street, something, Market something. I'm going to be showing my Beagle Axle Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going to be uh, trying to work on his championship title. I'm hoping that we uh, we can do pretty good this weekend and maybe get him finished and, uh, besides that you know I might just go ahead and go out and do some more wheelies on the WR Phone's about to fall out. What's up, Mr. Miyagi? <laughs> You guys see the uh, Iranian Hulk? They're comparing this guy to the uh, Incredible Hulk, except he's actual real dude. I've only seen photos of him. Uh, I don't know if this guy's real. What do you guys think? Is it real or fake? Dude's a fucking beast. It's funny because he reminds me of one of my uh, ex-coworkers. Looks just like him. Ugly as shit in the face. Lats for days. Hope y'all enjoyed that clip. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm out of here. Peace.